there, I'm going to want a, a setup here. It's called the, um, it's a BAA study, a Goldschmidt study. It's called, uh, it's about two towns in California. It's a perfect example. This thing was, this, the results of the study was actually suppressed for about 50 years until it finally came out more, and I want to get it out further. Uh, the uh, Bureau of Water Management in, in, um, or Water Administration in California ended up doing a study in terms of, they have certain water rights there in terms of farms and so forth, and doing a study in terms of which uh, type of community would produce the best type of community life and most vital, etc. And it compared a community that was uh, based on large agriculture and then a community that was based on small agriculture. And the community that had the small agriculture had more small businesses, was more wealth kept in the community, and the relationships among the people was much act, more active, more, more going on, etc. The other one tended to be, um, how to say, the lower end of industrial type labor, where the labor, uh, say, labor is treated as a um, inconvenience, to put it one way as opposed to a, a participant in the economy. There's two different ways. I mean, if labor is not part of a dialogue, I mean, let's take it back even further. If you take the idea of a community as being a, a, a group of interests rather than one set of interests dominating the whole thing, then they dialogue back and forth and they come up with something together that works for everybody's needs. If you have an upper echelon, as in economics is a game that is monopoly only for the rich, then you get the sort of dynamic that we end up with in terms of how much money can they extract from the communities. You understand? The one, the money circulates, the, the uh, bakery, you know, has some, uh, so woodworker come in and makes cabinets locally and, and then it trades back and forth. You understand? That keeps the money going round and round. Walmart's another instance in terms of they're using subsidies to support um, actually the, the ability of their employees to survive in terms of uh, Medicare, in terms of food stamps, etc. And they're just sucking money out of communities big time, shutting down small local businesses that where the money could circulate in the, within the community. So this pattern gets repeated in terms of what gets supported and what doesn't. I understand Hillary was or is on the Walmart board of trustees. What up with that? I'm sorry, but does that serve the community interest? Is, is that what's, I mean, even, you go back to Islamic uh, economics, a lot of that, at least in theory, is built upon the community supporting each other. No interest. The fact of Islamic economics in terms of these days becomes a little twisted in terms of they have tended to emulate Western uh, banking systems in terms of adding on fees that end up making them similar in terms of the actual cost to the people. But in terms of shared risk in the communities, there's no shared risk. I mean, you lose your home. The, the whole thing with coming back to foreclosure thing. I mean, what people I've not heard anybody mention yet is the whole inflation that was fed by the, the U.S. Federal Reserve in terms of cheap money that then was turned into the real estate market and drove up the prices also made it a situation where it was difficult for ordinary people to find just basic shelter at a price that was affordable. Okay? So the rents are freaking high. So if someone offers you a mortgage that's at half that, what are you going to do? Regardless, I mean, if you're qualified, sure, I'll take it. I'd rather be buying it. Never mind what else is going to happen. So the sheer base, basic thing that people have in shelter, in any real sense, was turned into an ATM on a big scale, as well as individual scale, in terms of people withdrawing equity in order to continue their, their lives. Back to Minsky. Other things he... Uh, uh, advocates is for a full labor, full employment labor pro policy and an industrial policy that serves the, the nation as opposed to a select group. His idea, he, he's in particular opposed to welfare, but 
It's not the way the Republicans tend to be. He wants some kind of employment be available for everybody who is able to do some kind of employment. That means will also mean things like WPA, CCC, uh, NYA, et cetera. Those kind of models that came out of the Depression, you understand? So a lot of those things have to do with cultural things that were being produced, either art, writing, newspapers, any number of other things, building bridges, infrastructure. People were doing things, productive. So he, his model would have everybody as much as possible be productive in some fashion, rather than, I mean, it creates a better ethic in terms of people. That's not the Republican person in terms of blaming people for not being able to find work, but to be able to create and generate activities that can be productive for the community. It's a wildly different thing. Questions, anybody? Yeah. Do you think just the, uh, the housing <coughs> industry, like the crime loan and adjustable <coughs> mortgage loans was the corporate of this uh, depression or, or collapse. recession or collapse, uh, or you think was a combination of bad stock, the hedge funds, and Ponzi uh, schemes. Yeah. yeah. Um, who was it? I think it was George Soros that talks about uh, <coughs> it's not until the tide goes out that you discover how many people are swimming naked. If you understand where I'm going with that, there's so much going on in terms of ripoffs, in terms of scheming and scamming, because there was no. Um, let's look, come back. Uh, Markopoulos, I think, forget his first name. The guy who was uh, a forensic accountant who was um, advocating for uh, Bernie Madoff and his whole operation to be shut down. We're talking about $50 billion there. He was advocating over a span of about 10 years. Step back. 10 years. It wasn't just once. It was over 10 years. He was brushed off by essentially political clout. They, you know, don't bother him because he's well connected. Okay. You add all these things up. It's, it's, I mean, subprime, I mean, maybe that was a trigger. Maybe, but it just exposed the fragility of the whole system. 